Hey, what's going on? Um, I need to talk to you about New York City. Ooh. Cheesecake. Yes, cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Lovely cheesecake. Look, I'm um planning on taking Lizzie on a trip. I want to pull out all the stops. Good place. Big city, big time romance. You got it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No. We went to some pretty amazing oh, wait, places. Wait, yeah. Wait. You go to the rainbow. That's the one. That's rainbow. the one I was thinking. Yeah. Yes. Orchestra. You dance in clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on top of the whole city. <laughs> and that is where we're going to be. Is That's this part right. of the dating game? This is. Yes, it is. In fact, it's date number four. The yeah. one we're stuck on. Mm -hmm. And if I don't make it to date number ten wait, soon. Wait, wait. What's date ten? Well, day 10 is where uh, oh, all the magic happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your mother would be proud of you. <laughs> well, well, listen, um, I am going out of my mind because moving out, i got to tell you, it's been a little tough, okay? So I'm trying to squeeze in seven dates in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. and if, I, if I can't do it, I don't think I'm going to make it. I, I think she's going to love going there. Girls love to go to New York theater shopping. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But Lizzie doesn't know yet. Well, In fact, I better go tell her so she has time to pack. Right. Yeah. This is not my decision to make. Look, I know that we are all looking for proof that Dad is okay, but I don't think that this is the way to do it. It's a routine examination, that's all. Right, okay, and then all of our questions will be answered. Do you have a better idea, Elizabeth? Well, it wasn't my idea to ask him to rejoin the company. No, wait a minute, are you... Are you saying that you don't want your father in the company? No, Just... no, no, I'm not. I, I do believe that anyone in our family deserves a spot in the company as long as they don't start trouble. And you two are the ones that started trouble. Well. So you two do get out. Hey, sweetheart, that's a great idea. Come on, let's step out in the hall. Alan, don't you dare go in the hall. Huh? You're still drunk, for heaven's sake. She'll drop you like a sack of potatoes. You know something? This is a simple business decision, just like buying a company or hiring a new executive, and I think you're all being very emotional about this. Now, Philip, here is the name of a doctor that I want you to look at, and I want you to think about going to see. Now... Remember, it's for your own good. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, you know, I, wait a minute. Don't shrinks like you to talk about your childhood, don't they? I could do that for hours. You okay with full disclosure? Say whatever you have to say. I don't know what this is going to get us. It will let us know if your father is stable enough to rejoin the company. It would not be a wise business decision for him to come back to the company if he's not. And that's why it is good for him to see the nice doctor. Well, maybe I don't feel like I need to see the nice doctor. Maybe I feel like I'm okay just the way I am. Fine. We'll see. I got an idea. Why don't we all go together? We could have a group session. <laughs> Hello. Am I interrupting something interesting? No. Well, yes, we were... Deciding whether Philip is well enough to rejoin the company. Ah, the daily power struggle. Not very interesting at all. I need to talk to Lizzie. Hey, gotta go. Uh, Elizabeth. What? Okay. Oh, thank goodness you got me out of there. Those people are completely nuts. They are nuts. Now, tell me, are you going to end up like that someday? Probably. Okay, then we'll go nuts together. <laughs> all right, look, I came here because I wanted to ask you out. Oh, mm -hmm. date number four, huh? Not just date number four, but four through ten. Because I need to get to date number ten. Mm. You know, I knew this was going to happen. I am very sexy. You are very, mm -hmm. very sexy, and I don't think I could hold out much longer. Okay, well, what's the plan? Here's the plan. Seven. Count them. Seven. Elegant dates in New York City, one after the other. Now, do you think you can handle it? <laughs> oh, um, hot shot? Yeah. I can handle anything you've got in there. Oh, fab. Okay, because I'm not kidding around here. All right, number 10. It has to be something that we are going to remember for the rest of our lives. Okay. Okay, so, um, pack fancy. Okay, how fancy? Just, um, dress up. Like, black tie, semi-formal, cocktail? Yeah, sure, whatever. Just seven fancy outfits and something 
super sexy for after day 10. Actually, it doesn't matter what you put on after day 10 because you're only going to have it on for about 30 <laughs> seconds. How much do you know that that is going to happen? Maybe I like all this waiting. You know, I might. I might have us wait until day 16 or, or 20. I know it's going to happen because you're not the only one who's hot. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Well, you're really confident. Got a lot to be confident about. Seven. Hmm? One bag for each outfit. I followed directions. First time for everything. Seven dates, seven bags. My accessories alone, I almost had to pack an eighth bag. Oh, you are amazing. I just wanted to make sure I had everything I needed. Okay. All right, so what bag has the uh, sexy thing in it? You know, the outfit you're going to wear after date number 10? Right here. Good. Very good, yes. Carry that because we don't want to lose it. What? What if we don't make it to date 10? Hmm? Oh, what if we want to join the Mile High Club? No, no. No, no, I made it this far. I can make it through two more days. But if you keep this talk up, I'm going to have you sit on the other end of the plane, okay? <laughs> you really are crazy about me. Crazy about you, it's crazy about you. Do you think maybe the ride to the airport would be date number four? No. No? Mm -mm. You're telling me? Yeah, no. Ten days was your idea. Do you know?